Ah, good old Load Runner. Load Runner is a classic game developed by an architectural student named Douglas E. Smith and was later published by Rotorbund in 1983. Load Runner is typically considered a platformer for all intents and purposes, but in a time when many game styles were more cut and dry, it was a pioneer of genre blending like many titles today. Load Runner is a platformer and a puzzle game. Instead of leaning on quick twitch or precision jumping mechanics alone, the game seamlessly merges fast decisions with puzzle failing consequences. The game also came with a level editor, which allowed for endless customization in a zealous fan community. The concept's pretty simple. Run around a multi-layered brick platform level, gather all the gold, and avoid the guards. No jumping, no attacking, no real weapons. The only tools at the disposal of the player was a blaster, which blasted a hole in the ground either to the left or to the right of the player. Okay kids, have fun, and figure out the rest on your own. The game was released on many other platforms, such as NES, Famicom, Apple II, Commodore 64, Arcade, PlayStation, and PC, just to name a few. It was updated many times and had a variety of sequels. Everyone wanted a piece of that action. There have been dozens of iterations and copies as well. I was first exposed to Load Runner in the mid-90s with Load Runner The Legend Returns by Sierra. My friend had an old Apple computer that ran Warcraft Orcs and Humans, Lemmings, and Load Runner. But those are for another day. I'll explain those stories later. I was instantly hooked though. I've gone back and played the previous installments as well as many later editions, but The Legend Returns is still my favorite. At the time, Sierra was huge. And who didn't love the Sierra games? For those of you that have missed out on a chance to play this phenomenal, mind-numbingly frustrating game, it's readily available online in many forms. But until then, enjoy the series, and hey, cheer us on.